In this week's vlog, we have a little overview of AM Details training, I go live on YouTube, and we still have the usual detailing and car care stuff going on. You can check it out straight after this. Hey guys, I'm Alan and welcome to AM Details. We bring you car care and detailing related videos every week. Subscribe and make sure that you hit that bell so you get a notification every time we go live to answer your questions. Good morning. It is Monday, the 24th of April. That means there's three weeks until my son's expected due date. I don't want to start making this channel Sun Watch, but I thought I might start have to emphasize on it because, um, well, the moment he comes, this, I don't know what will happen with it. And today, we've got training with us. The next two days, AIM details, chemical training course, and then the basics of machine polishing. But it was raining all last night. Hopefully it stays away today. I'm feeling like it's a good start to the week today. Fingers crossed I haven't cursed it. I uh, got my coffee on, got my paperwork on, I got a good bit of that done yesterday. Got a superb review already from the customer that the gents were out seeing on Saturday. We've got training today and the team just seemed to be buzzing and on fire as I'm just about to review last week's vlogs already. So Dan has done it and got it over. Now that either means we're getting faster, better at the processes and how I'm delivering things to Dan, how Dan's coming over and we're enjoying this new style of stuff. First minute I'm already really, really, really liking. So I'm gonna watch this now, review it over, I'll see you guys when the gents are in. is now 25 to 12 guys. Darren and Scott are just going through the AM tar sessions on the van and then we'll go into iron, bring it in and clay bar it. It's going really well for Darren, he's learned a lot of cool tips already. I'm trying to find the fine balance between the intense training of this and then what we provide to you guys free via the YouTube channel and then that is what the how to's are going to be and then we're also going to have the online training course which is going to be this which is the intense training plus some business orientated training in there and that is what the online course will be. If you want some information on that guys, moment it's ready and in the description down below will be a little link to sign up to our registration form. <laughs> Every single time guys, we do training. I told you it was going to come. Look at it. Rain, rain, rain. Luckily that's the iron done, so we're just going to do a final snow foam and rinse. Then pull this inside to be cleared. Training day one complete. All set up. The bonnet is ready to rock and roll for tomorrow. I've got some new lights that are on charge. I'll link them down below and I'll talk to you then tomorrow. They're ones you might have seen previously with something I'll make pop out up here where I will magnetically stuck it onto the roller shutter. Really, really handy little tools if you're in like a roller shutter environment or you need a light that you can stick on the side of your toolbox or something like that. But it's time for me to go and shut down the AM details area, do a final little paperwork and I will see you guys tomorrow. Something happened last night, whether it was just up here around the UK, we had snow, it was freezing, and then this morning I've come in, it's defrosted in some areas, it's not in others, the unit's cold, so I'm banging the heating on there, heating on in here, and definitely 
Warming Yield Noggin. And very quickly, I have got to smash through this, drink that, and then have a quick look at the screen, which I will take you to guys now because I'm reviewing the coming vlog. Not the coming vlog, the one that you guys have already seen. This is vlog 78, last week's one, which had the Porsche McCann in it and the BMW 335D. Uh, Dan did a hero shift and got this over to us yesterday, which was Monday. Today is Tuesday morning and this is the final edits um, review. So I'm just going through it now and then I'm gonna start doing all the information down below. Now it might seem super keen doing that on a Tuesday instead of piling through the paperwork and stuff, but I kind of have to get these things done and up and away as quick as possible so that they're scheduled. Um, because as you guys know, Sarah could be any minute. She could be tomorrow, two weeks, three weeks, or we could run one week late. And that is all that is allowed to happen, actually, because then uh, Elgin make things happen. And then I know for sure I will at least have my son by the 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I thought it was by the 22nd of May. But guys, I am super, super delighted with this one. We've been working a lot on my filming style and skills and then Dan incorporating that with some new uh, music that we've been using and some new styles. It's it's working really well. Really enjoy it. I'm nearly finished. Then once I've done this it'll all be signed off and I can start doing this bit down here and then I will continue to tackling this lot. So I'll see you guys once the students here. Darren our student had to get a train up yesterday so we ended up doing the training on the van. But I needed the van last night, so Scott's just given it a very quick snow foam. Two bucket rinse, then we'll get it inside and dried. So that today Darren will at least have an actual vehicle to do some machine training on, as well as our bonnet. And here's the bonnet that you all know. I've already scratched it up for him. Some light swirling, a little bit more hazing and stuff here. I've done quite a harsh, deep scratch right in the middle here. Kind of imitate a random see how we do with that and then we have uh, some more light damage and swirling and stuff here but this is just to get all the basics on first before we move to the van so that he has something more practical so that he has a feel of what it'd be like for working on a actual vehicle but we're just waiting on him arriving I'll see you in a bit we've just finished Tea break. Been working on the car, which under this light, oh, looks amazing, doesn't it? Looks great. Let me show you why we use these light sources, and I've deliberately had Darren machine in a certain way to leave a defect in here, and I wanna show you guys it. So it's not great, guys. We're just looking at the panel, and you can see the correction level. It's pretty good when you compare it to over here. Uh, sorry, the focus isn't amazing on this. There we go. So the correction level there, and then we come to this panel. but. There's a grey hazing, not the vertical left and right that you can see on this, but a grey hazing. I'm going to try and zoom us in and show you that. It's actually caused by the DA. It's a DA marring, just not breaking down the polish correctly, etc. But we deliberately have the guys do that so they know what they're looking for. Because from back here, you'd be like, oh, that looks like a great enhancement. I'll leave that for my customer. But you've actually left machine damage in there. So we now need to take that out. Hey guys, I'm actually speaking to you in the editing stages now, back when I was putting this vlog together. Because the camera actually picks up the marring a whole lot better than the eye does. It's a little trick you can do if you're not sure if there's marring in your paintwork. Take a picture on your camera phone and the camera will actually pick it up a whole lot better. But we're looking at these tiny microscopic scratches around the light as I'm kind of focusing in and out. Um, that is the micro marring. And then I also bring in this other light, and this other light is used to show you the vertical marring that was brought in by the microfiber cloth because we hadn't broken down the abrasives enough. And that was what we were trying to show Darren when doing this little demonstration. But putting it all together, my waffling in the editing didn't really go that well. So hopefully these two examples have shown you what to look out for because um, the human eye couldn't see them, but the camera has. So it totally made me look like I was being an idiot on the vlog. So now, it's time to play about some more, removing some deeper stuff. The time is now. Five past five. Darren's training is complete. Tomorrow's car is here and I am preparing to go live. Let's go have a look. 
So I'm trying to do a live session tonight with the YouTube audience. I've got my OBS set up. This time I'm going to try and show the chat live so you guys can see what I see. I'm currently angling it so as to give myself a decent background and I'm going to put AMD Tills Chemicals here just to make this all nice and AMD brand up. So it's time to tidy all this up. Say goodbye to Peps. Disconnect the phone. It'll be good to go live at 7 o'clock. Just under two hours to get ready. I think we're ready. Got the mobile phone on tethering, so I'm now running 4G with 20 megabyte upload. That should handle 1080p, but I'm only doing it in 720. I am waiting on the hang page, and there are two people already hanging out, waiting, which is insane. Three people. The chat I've been testing out, and it works, and as you can see, it is now showing on the OBS. Try to make a nice little background, dress the... <laughs> Dress it up a little bit, eliminated all the usual office stuff. So as you can see from the feed, it's going to look all right with me sat there and the rest of the background. I'm just going to make myself some key points to remember on the whiteboard so when I'm doing the chat I don't get lost. I've got some questions already to rock and roll. Juice, stuff to talk about. Whew. Let's go. And we're done. Wow, it was ace hanging with you guys. It couldn't have went any better really. It was really cool to interact with you. I think it dropped out. For a minute or two, I will be able to know once the processing is finished so I can do the end screen and stuff on it. I'm now going to tidy all this up, get ready for tomorrow, wait and see what came back. I really enjoyed it, my first like official live streaming with an intro, with an outro, controlling everything from here. I would like to almost do a live and then film with you guys how I do everything live so you can see what's going on. You can see on the board over here, I had some stuff to notify myself to remember to do things. I had all my stuff there buzzing. Let me tidy this up back in a second. Good morning. It is Wednesday. We have just cleaned and decontaminated the cougar. Sorry I didn't film much of that. It's a chilly wind today and we weren't having much fun outside. It is now inside. Time to clay it and dry it. Let's have a look around. So as you can see, it's in for our enhancement. Someone's been here before. A little bit of buffer trail on the bonnet. Marring, usual stuff all around the vehicle. If I take a little drop, whoosh, we can show you guys. Swirls in here, we even got buffer on the pillars. So an enhancement, it is. Ooh, and the spoilers have a little bit of work. We were wondering why this side looked a little flat, guys. Now under the light, we can see. DA marring the whole door. Either from someone having a go with a machine or this is actually the sanding marring for manufacturer. Scratches down the side here. Oh, the Cougar's gonna be an interesting development. Let's grab the machines. Time is... Now, five past 12, I've shown you around the car. Let's have a look at the enhancement. Then a couple of little test areas. This was the first one. And then you'll see in a minute, the original damage is there that we are facing. We're gonna get some focus G7X, maybe, maybe. Nope, but I have now been working here, refining the combination and I think this is much better to suit. As you can see, there are still random deep scratches in here, guys. These are not gonna come out as part of an enhancement detail. But, from what it was to this, pretty sweet. So we're gonna crack on with this. I am now gonna finish the rest of this door. There we go, there's the original damage. Woohoo! So I'm gonna carry on, machining this. 
<laughs> what? Not plugged in. What an idiot. Good morning. It's Friday. I know, right? That's probably not something you expected to hear. You'd have been expecting Thursday, and here's the cougar. What's going on? Yesterday, for me, pretty much a write off. Well, when I say a write off, I mean a write off as in content for you for the car. Pretty good morning. Me and Scott were on the cougar, but then I had uh, baby related stuff to go and do, and then a couple of meetings in here, so it just got a bit patchy. Recording wasn't great. We had other things going on. Scott was head down busy on the cougar, so we didn't really get much filming done, but we'll make it up today. But with it being Friday morning, half past six, I'm going to very quickly grab my breakfast. We dropped the vlog last night, which can only mean one thing. Time lapse time! All done. That's got to be record time. So I was in by half six this morning and within half an hour I've managed to vlog to you guys and get the YouTube stuff done and have my breakfast. Ding! And for the guys on here that use YouTube or anyone that's watching whether you're using it for detail or not, I want to show you a little bit of a cool tip that I use, the Tubers Tool free application for. It's in the description down below guys. I'm going to show you this and how it's helping me handle your comments and that's how I managed to get one of the commitments done, which is to build the community via the channel and keep replying to your comments, answering your questions, and getting a community going in and around this channel. So go check it out. So if and when you guys start a YouTube channel, you can come into your dashboard, then go community, and then you get your comments, and it will show you all the comments that have been commented on any video. So you can see the video it's been commented on and all the comments, and you would get lost in there quite easily. But when you have the Tuber Tools, uh, this little symbol here is the Tuber Tools, application installed on Chrome, you can just come over here, click this and go comments that I have not replied to, and then you filter it and then I can go like this and go okay well I want to do the next 10 sheets worth of stuff, show more, bing, and it's just going through every sheet and it's finding any comments that I have personally not replied to, and it'll show them to me there. And it's as easy as that. It's such a cool little plugin. There's loads of other cool little stuff, guys. Really, I'm just here to help you guys out with this one down below. It's just quite cool because you guys ask me, how do you do this all the time? What's going on? So I find these cool little applications and tips and tricks that are helping me get through my YouTube business, like my YouTube marketing side of this business. And I want to pass it on to you guys because I know I've got some other detailers watching, but also I've got some people watching in here that have other YouTube channels that might not be aware of these cool tools. And I've just done a longer search. I can only apologize to all you guys. These are like a month old. And as I've only just recently started to use this cool tool, I'm gonna go back and use this and do these, but not this morning. Something else and more important to do. And when I say more important, I just mean more important today, not more important than answering all your comments. But it's what I have loaded up over here. It's Friday, the last Friday of the month. It's freebie Friday. Okay, we're set to go. I have got the survey up so that I can do the filter. I've got Facebook open on the page. I'm just gonna open up the likes thing, scroll all the way down the bottom so that all the likes get generated. And then I do like a search thing to find it. So if I'm looking for a certain person, I'll just do function uh, F, I think which is function find. And then I search for all your names. So I've just gotta do this very quickly. And then I gotta do it with the shares. And then I've got to go onto Twitter and do the same with Twitter. So on Twitter, I go in here then I hit on the video and then you get to see the information on um, who's done uh, 
here we go, who's done all the retweets, so then I can search for your names there as well if it's a Twitter winner, and exact same on Instagram, so. That's that one done, I've just got to pull up, oh no, I've just undone it, I've got to do it all again. Right, I'm going to do all this again, <laughs> well, instead of trying to vlog for you guys. Boo! Freebie Friday complete! We have a winner, Matthew was the winner, everyone's been announced, it was really cool seeing you all on the live feed, but it's time for me to get all this done, message you all, get the prizes sorted, and then get back on that shop floor to the Cougar. See ya! Seal going on, rain on, the gents have been nailing it whilst I've been in a meeting with Business Gateway. Thank you very much, Craig. Ding! Uptown, banking, back onto this, onto this. Can we get them finished today? Let's find out. Time is now 20 past three. The A5 is done. I'm just about to do the wheelie stool and pictures on it. <laughs> and to show you guys what happens is we push everything into the other bay. But the cook is looking good, just on the double hitting of the bonnet, and then we've got the roof, and it will be close enough. It's gonna be tight, I think I'll be finishing this one tomorrow, but ding, it's looking pretty good. So we'll grab the 6T, let's go. And here it is guys, the Audi A5 TDI, after an AMD does Good. Morning! Time is 20 past 8. I've been in doing the paperwork. Now it's time to have a look at what's going on today. The Cougar, as you can see, is looking much improved after the enhancement. There is most definitely still stuff in there. I've still to come and do the edge of the spot pad, as yesterday Scott was using it on a different area, so I'm just going to come and tackle in this on the edge of the bonnet, and then go and read the list of what is left to do, which I think is a bit of the roof. The customer actually isn't picking this one up till Tuesday and with it being a bank holiday Monday and Scott being off Monday I also have this one in um, a full working day on Monday. We don't generally do cars on a Saturday because of all the walk-in sales that comes in so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to get done on this one but I also want to shoot a couple of how-tos for you guys so if it ends up being hi I'll see you on Monday when I'm finally doing this car that's why. <laughs> you guessed it it is actually Wednesday. And I've just been editing this vlog and realized I hadn't finished it. I hadn't finished it at all. Just how that weekend turned out. And then Monday of this week trying to get that Cougar finished. So let's give you a little update of what went on, what's going on, and what's happening with these. Customer picked the Cougar up on Tuesday and was delighted. As well on Tuesday, we had the Freebie Friday winning Fiesta in. Woohoo! And it looked epic. I have filmed that separately. Hopefully we can piece that together as a vlog as well, guys. But as you all know, there's a lot going on at the moment. So I think what's going to happen is potentially... That and the M5 that's in at the moment could be the last of this style of vlog with my son coming. Because as you know, I'm going to be diving off, taking a little bit of maternity leave. The gents will be watching the bay and uh, looking after AM details. They'll still be filming and doing pictures and all the other sort of stuff, but I will be a little bit preoccupied. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere and we're still going to keep at least the Tuesday and Thursday content going. We might drop the Sunday if I start to run out of the backup reserve content I've got, but I'm not entirely sure what type of filming I'm going to be able to do over the next coming month, really. So if this could be the last little update for a while, uh, where are we at? The website is looking good. I've just done the first test review of the website. It's so, so good. So good. And it fixes everything. I'm so glad I've committed to doing this. If you guys are still having issues with your orders when watching this and it's still the old site, then just give me a comment down below or in the description. And to get to the description guy, there's a little triangle. It's probably gonna be down here somewhere if you're on your mobile phone. You click that and it'll open up the description tab and in there I put in loads of information. All the links I talk about in here and stuff, but also there'll be the M details contact information, phone or email the team. They will sort you out. 
Something cool that I announced live, and in case any of you haven't seen the live video feed, I will be at Waxstock, and also Shop and Shine will be stocking the AM Details range when we're there. So if you're coming to Waxstock, come and say hi, and you'll be able to get the range. Hopefully I will come and do some hanging out at Dom's stand, and give you guys some tips and advice on the range specifically. So it's gonna be really cool to see you guys there, if you're there. And as a heads up, we have a Fiesta feature video, and we're currently filming a stunning BMW M5. So there is some good content, when and ready to drop. So keep commenting guys, I will be interacting, I will have my phone at home. As I say, it's just gonna be the recording element. I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen. But without further ado, I'm Alan and this is AM Details. We bring you car care and detailing related videos every week. Please over here guys, hit the subscribe button and make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification every time I go live to answer your questions. And over here, two videos chosen just for you. Ciao.